Good morning. The otherwise stressed market seems to be witnessing a relief of sorts. Investors thought shifted to some fall in crude and some hike in fuel prices for now, which led to a rally of sorts on Monday. Most of the three-day advance has been driven by short covering after the NSE Nifty breached 5,400 levels. But the index is still trading below various crucial technical levels. Ride the current upswing cautiously, keeping in mind that most of the headwinds have yet to be conquered. We see the markets opening higher, spurred by positive cues in the US markets. European indices closed mixed due to anxiety ahead of the Greek parliament vote on new budget cuts. The euro has regained some of the lost ground versus the dollar. However, talk of the euro common currency and the union breaking up is back. Meanwhile, Asian markets except China are up today. For our markets, the good news is that FII appears to be back in the business going by the flow in the past 3-4 days. One has to see whether this trend prevails or tapers off. Expect some volatility before the FNO expiry on this Thursday. Softening crude oil prices have acted as a catalyst for the Indian markets lately. The trend certainly seems to be a positive one. The broader market too has shown some signs of life though it remains to be seen if it can sustain the momentum. There is decent cushion for our market above 5450 levels on the Nifty. On the way up, there could be resistance around 5600 and 5650 levels. FIs were net buyers of Rs 14.47 billion in the cash segment on Monday according to the provision NSC data. The domestic institution institutions were net sellers at Rs 7.66 billion on the same day. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds were net buyers at Rs 36.7 million. The foreign funds were net buyers at Rs 10.21 billion in the cash segment on Friday according to the SEBI website. Mutual funds were net buyers of Rs 578 million on the same day. Tata Motors could be in action as the company has hinted that it may move the Supreme Court in single lend dispute. Kane India and Sisa Goa will be in spotlight after Vedanta and Kane Energy agreed to alter the deal terms. The latter has decided to drop Rs 50 per share for non-compete fees. ONGC should extend its gain on media reports that Kane and Vedanta have agreed that a part of the royalty paid to the state-run explorer could be deducted from revenues. The tax is currently paid entirely by ONGC. Moving on to recommendations and technical calls for the day are. We advise going short on Bajaj Auto June futures below Rs 1,340 with a stop loss of Rs 1,365 and for the target price of Rs 1,280. We advise buying Canara Bank in the range of Rs 515 to Rs 518 with a stop loss placed at Rs 510 and for the target price of Rs 534. Our derivative strategy for the day are Long Yuko Bank July futures in the range of Rs 92 to 92.5 for the target price of Rs 97 and a stop loss placed at Rs 90. Long PFC July futures in the range of Rs 183 to Rs 184 with a target price of Rs 193 and a stop loss placed at Rs 179. Thank you. Wish you have a great day ahead.